Back at the dorm, I sorted through the pile of textbooks the school left for me. My radio was playing a poppy tune, equal parts music to static. My fervently scribbled in a, in a notebook at her desk, hunched over it with strikingly poor posture. Hey! Uh, hey, my? Mm-hmm. 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 She didn't bother to look up. Am I supposed to have a textbook for History 309? Uh... Uh... She shuffled through the papers on her desk before producing a thick textbook. A demure man in a powdered wig frowned at me from the cover. Yeah, this one. <clears throat> I sighed. I don't have that one. The school must have missed it. Oh god, I right clicked. Uh, Mai shrugged and set the textbook back in her pile. They have a bunch at- <clears throat> Oh god. <clears throat> they have a bunch at the library. You can just check one out. Where's the library? And I rippled through her notebook and wrote something down. She tore the page out and handed me a crudely drawn map. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, I'll be back in a little bit. Did you use this crudely drawn map to navigate? It took me at least to 20 air. minutes to find the library. By the time I realized I was holding the map upside down, the sun was setting. Brilliant. I mean, I blame Mai's terrible drawing. No, no, Hana's just an idiot. No, Hana's great. Hana's adorable. Uh, the library was much larger than I expected. The walls lined from floor to ceiling with books of all sizes on rough wooden shelves. Intimidated, I headed for the front desk. A recognizably green and gray jacket was bent behind the counter. N normal boots. I briefly considered running away. Hey. Can I help you? Oh, wait, no. Someone else uh, uh, Satch, yeah. So we do Greg, Satch. Greg, Satch. I guess I'll do Satch. Yep. Can I help you? That's Yo, pretty dog, close. Can I help okay. You? That, that is racist. Far. That's no. racist. Greg was actually pretty close to his voice, surprisingly. <laughs> actually, I've never heard Satch. I have no idea what he sounds I've like. I, I, I only know John and PBG. I've only heard him because of this game. He Like, there was a clip of his voice, as his line was said, and Greg was actually kind of close. Uh, uh, yeah, the school forgot to give me one of my textbooks. I was told I could get it here. Hmm. Which one is it? The History 309 textbook? He stepped from behind the counter and motioned for me to follow. We dodged between the aisles in a comfortable silence. He seemed friendly enough. I should say something. What was his name again? A shame? A Gerard? John? No, not John. <laughs> Definitely not John. Satch! Huh? Oh, oh, um, uh, you, you work here? Uh, of course he worked here. <laughs> he chuckled, dimples appearing in his cheeks. Yeah, I'm a library assistant. It's my second year, and I love it. I get to help people find books but speak to them. His eyes twinkled like a kid's on Christmas. Your book's right down here. He stopped at a row of thick, it, dusty it books. Pants. God damn it. Oh my Was this God. all history? And pulled out the book with the powder-wigged man I saw earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. He waved his hand. That book's not the only thing that's white on the inside. <sighs> Anyways. It was nothing. Do you need help with anything else? Um, uh, I wanted to make a good impression on the Normal Boots Club, but I couldn't come up with anything. N no thanks Copacetic. You're welcome. As we headed back through the cavernous library, my unease melted away. We weren't talking, but just being near him felt like being wrapped in a soft blanket. I misheard you as my undies melted away. <laughs> oh, damn it! Uh, <laughs> I resisted the urge to snuggle up to him. We neared the front desk, stepping around a clump of studying students. As we passed, one of them shifted. <gasps> eh? Eh? Yeah? Something white flew past my face. A thick piece of triangular paper lay at my feet. I bent over and picked it up. It was surprisingly heavy. There's a quarter inside of it. I don't think they use quarters in Japan. Uh, if I was just a hair slower, it would have hit me in the face. The students snickered, and I recognized the boys that made fun of my hair this morning among them. My heart dropped. I scanned my memory for anything I might have done to offend them, but came up with nothing. 
My hand started to shake. I hid it behind my back, trying to think of some way to defend myself. Well, why did you do that? Oh, I accidentally right clicked again because I'm dumb. Scott, I'll let you be sporty boy. Sporty boy! Uh, sporty boy! Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> That's pretty sporty. Aw, oh, we were just oh. messing around. Are you suggesting we did it on purpose? I faltered. There was nothing I could say. I was outnumbered. They would twist my words around no matter how straightforward I was. N no, I... S sorry. One of the boys held his hand out for the paper. I inched closer to give it to him, angry at myself for being so compliant. I wish I were... A gentle warmth, clo warmth closed over my hand and took the paper from me. Hmm. Satch examined the paper closely. I see what the problem is. Your aim would be better if you cut the corners before you folded it. He placed the paper on the table. The boy looked at him in sheer awe. Be careful, though. You almost hit her, and that would have been... awful. My hands began to sweat as panic shifted through me, afraid of the response, but... Uh, uh, geez, we're, we're sorry. We'll, we'll be careful next time. Yeah, it was um, an accident. They apologized? <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. He gave them a wide smile and continued off down the aisles. I followed closely behind, my legs weak. Don't tell me they stopped because of him. Simply because I was with him? I wanted to thank him, but my heart was pounding so hard I knew my voice would shake. We reached the front counter and he scanned a history book. My lips trembled as I willed myself to say something, anything, to, sh to thank him. He tilted his head to the side. What books do you like to read? Uh, oh, uh, fiction? <laughs> he chuckled. <laughs> I just finished a good book. I think it'd be right up your alley, if you don't mind me saying so. Satch is fucking dreamy. <laughs> yeah, he is, actually. <laughs> like, like, he is fucking suave. He, he is, no, yeah, Wait, I, does I he gotta actually, say. Does he actually sound that suave in he his voice acting? He pretty goddamn suave. Uh, he reached under the counter, pulled out a thick green book, and passed it to me. A man in black stood on the front, hugging a woman in royal robes. It's long, but it's one of my favorites. The Princess Betrothed. I know things can be tough transferring to a new school. If you're ever worried, just read this. It'll transport you a hundred miles away in a second. Tears stung my eyes, so I ducked my head. Satch. Thank you, Satch. For more than just the books. You're welcome. Oh, oh I, I'm sorry. I, I don't think I got your name. My name is Hanami. My name is Hana Mizuno. I'm a transfer student. Hana. Well, it's nice to meet you, Hana. Let me know how you like the book. I will. That couldn't have gone better. Not only was Satch impossibly kind, but being around him felt easy, refreshing. Like being doused in the mist of a waterfall. <laughs> oh gosh, what was I thinking? My She's getting all wet. Yeah. My cheeks hot, I left the library, two surprisingly heavy books under one arm. I settled into bed, eager to get started with my new reading material, but... Aww. Mai was sitting at her desk, carving a pencil idly into the pages of a notebook. Every few minutes, she released a long, drawn-out sigh as the lead of her pencil whined against the paper. I lowered my book and took the bait. Is something wrong, Mai? She let out another dreary sigh. I hope Jared notices me this year. <laughs> Does Jared know you like him? My world around in feigned shock. What? I don't like Jared. Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. I closed my book and set it aside, deciding to play along. Well... Well, have you at least tried talking to him? <laughs> no. I, I mean... I have before. 
why don't you try again? She bobbed her head from side to side, considering this like it never crossed her mind before. Yeah, maybe I could do that. <laughs> oh, brilliant idea. <laughs> Satisfied. Ten out of ten. Look back up. No, we haven't met him what? yet, Greg. Have you uh, have you ever had a boyfriend, Hana? What? Huh? Uh, me? No, never. Really? Really? Never? Hmm. Never. I bet you a 10,000 yen that you meet a totally cute boy here and fall in love by the end of the school year. <gasps> You're crazy! I buried my face in my book, barring mine from any further discussion. So now I need to know, if you end up falling in love with Jared, does my totally hate your ass? Maybe, I don't know. Like, I hope so. I hope I'm we curious. can ruin our friendship. <laughs> fall in love by the end of the year? Me? If I were a betting kind of girl, I'd take that bet. I awoke the next morning with what felt like a lizard in my throat. Mai was already up, shuffling through her school bag with an enigmatic grin. The first day of school. Hana! Hana, you're finally awake! Her voice sliced through the air like a knife, and I winced. She was definitely a morning person. It's time for the first day of school! Aren't you excited? I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. W what do you mean? Is something special happening today? <laughs> <laughs> something o something strange always happens on the first day of school, especially to someone like you. Thanks, Mai. What? S someone like me? Well, uh -huh. You know well, it's what I mean. Because you are a protagonist, you have she to She made the that comment game. earlier! Yeah, she literally called you the protagonist. She smiled and started messing with the Wait, pile of really? papers on the desk. Yeah. Yep. Like, I'm just getting. Mai is like, she has issues and she's really meta. Like, I don't get it. It's just Mai. Uh, shaking my head, I got out of bed and pulled my uniform out of my closet. And my palms sweat as I held the gold vest and blue jacket. Was it really possible for things to be different here than they were at home? What if the problem wasn't actually the school? I, I shook the thoughts out of my head and changed into my uniform. Oh! Huh? What is it? Aww. You look so cute! Really? R really? Heat crept up my neck. Yeah! Yes, completely! Your hair matches your uniform so well! You look like a flower blooming straight out of the ground. <laughs> Thank you. The water stung the back of my eyes, and I turned to start packing my backpack. Why was I getting worked up about something as little as this? I must have gotten less sleep than I thought. Is something wrong? <laughs> N no, nothing's wrong. I'm just happy. How dumb was that? I started crying at the first sign of someone being nice to me. Took a deep breath to steady my nerves. <laughs> What an oddly menacing lat thud. All the air left my lungs as something like horse hooves slammed against my back. <gasps> Whoa. You'll do just fine. Don't worry, this is going to be awesome. I stiffly peered over my shoulder. That... that was what? you? Huh? Mai stood behind me, her hand raised. Somehow she had the strength of a bodybuilder. N nothing I was just about to zip my bag up when I spotted the book Satch gave me lying on my nightstand. The Princess Betrothed. He said that if I ever needed to be transported somewhere far away, I could take it with me. It was pretty good so Tempo. far. Maybe it It's be... probably a magic book. Oh, it, te it literally teleports you somewhere else. That would be terrifying. Jesus. Maybe it would be smart to bring it along, just in case I had no one to talk to between class periods. Would I need it for my first day of class? Take it. Take it? Take it. I put it into my already overfull bag, biting my lip. It never hurt to be prepared, right? Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Stick with me and you'll be fine. Mai opened the door, and together we stepped into the hallway, merging into a steady flow of chittering girls and fruit-flavored perfume. 
Oh my! No, wait, no, it's Mimi. Oh god, this voice. Oh shit! Oh, god. Oh my! Why I did not know we sleep on the same floor. No way, really? That's so awesome. Now we'll be able to catch up. Whatever happened between you and the river of girl shifted as we headed down the stairs. Suddenly I found myself surrounded by a bunch of people I didn't know. What a jerk. Oh wow, what a jerk he turned out to be. Mai's exclamations faded into the buzz of voices in the air. Oh no. What would I do if we got separated? Anxiously, I searched the crowd of girls for Mai, but I couldn't find her. Everyone was dressed in the same Asagao uniform. It was difficult to tell anyone apart. Being so short really didn't help the situation. As we turned the last corner down the stairwell, I saw a flash of red hair a little ways in front of me. Mai? I reached between two girls and tapped her on the shoulder. Oh, it new voice. Girls. Earth, are we just gonna let you be all the girls, or I mean, ever been cheese pizza? <laughs> Scott, you can be you can be an ever girl if you yeah. want. Okay, uh, let, let me think for a second. Like okay. I already have the two biggest parts in this fucking thing. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, God. Uh, oh, um. The girl's eyes flash, almost like a jolt of electricity shot through them. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I thought you were someone else. She said nothing and turned away. Before I knew it, I stood outside of Primrose House, watching the flow of girls disperse across campus. Mai was nowhere to be seen. I couldn't even hear her chirpy voice. Oh, man. I took a deep breath, biting my lip. This wasn't a big deal. I could go to class alone. But I didn't even know where the building was! I reached into my backpack and dragged out my class schedule. Homeroom. 206 Poppy Hall? Which one was Poppy, Poppy Hall again? Weren't the classrooms on the other side of campus? I picked a direction and began to walk, trying to ignore my rising panic at the thought of arriving late to the first day of class. As a third year, where no one knew me, all of the people staring. Hey! Oh my god! The, the voice? Uh, this is who we've been waiting for. Oh boy. John. Um... Greg, you wanna, you wanna go first? Do your John John voice. How did... I'm trying to... Hold on, let me... Hey, you, you okay? You, you look a little lost. Someone called out to me, and I turned around, almost jumping for joy. When I froze. A normal boots jacket. He was part of the normal boots club. I could practically feel my tongue swelling in my mouth. If this you was know, a normal boots if, club member. If Jock actually talks, I'm not going to give him the robot voice. I'll do something. It was just funny if he won't have the cheese pizza voice. Good lord. I had to make a good impression. He was one of the founders, right? Then he must be... John Tron! Um... Um, yes. I I'm new. I don't know where Poppy Hall is. <laughs> you a freshman? No problem. My class is in Poppy Hall. I'll, I'll walk you there. Really? R really? That'd be wonderful. Thank you. Was this really happening? He began walking toward a large brick building in an enthusiastic manner, pumping his arms up and down like he was in some kind of show tune. I fell into step beside him. I didn't notice it when Mai pointed him out to me yesterday, but Jontron had big brown eyes and a warm-looking face. I just want to say, scrolling back up, I think this is, like, the Jontron intro, like, walk. Like, where he's just swinging his arms. Oh my god. I I'm pretty sure that's what's being described here. Uh, he was basically a human puppy. I glanced up at him out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> a bird! A bird on his shoulder! Birds always made me uncomfortable. Something about the ease with which they could poke out someone's eyes. Is, uh, is, is something wrong? Uh, why, why'd you stop? Uh, I right clicked again because I'm clumsy as fuck. Uh, no, no, nothing's wrong. He followed my gaze to the bird on his shoulder. Hey! Oh, this is, this is Jacques. Isn't he cute? Eh. 
Oh my god, he talks. Oh, oh my god, Jox has a voice. Alright, who's who's gonna Jox? Scott said he wanted it. Alright, Scott. I, I don't know what voice to give Jox, Jesus Christ. <laughs> nice to meet you. Okay. <laughs> I tried to do my best Jox voice. It spoke? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He put his hand to his shoulder. Jox jumped onto his jumped into his palm. Yuck, he's, he's a robot bird, you, you see? He's actually a robot. Hello. I, he, I, I have a shitty robot voice. Here, you, you want me to try? Yeah, do your robot shocks. No, not even, a, not even a robot voice, it's just something so odd. Um, <laughs> hello. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jacques eyes gleamed a dangerous red when he spoke, but nothing else suggested he wasn't a normal bird. In fact, if I hadn't known better, I would have said the red in his eyes was painted on. Jesus! <laughs> amazing! Jacques twitched his head to the side, examining me in return. The more he looked at me, the less afraid I was. What are you looking at? What? what? Oh, Nothing. okay. Nothing. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, so now he's the game theory guy? Oh my god. It's... Oh my god, did I make him mad fat? Fine, Jacques so... is mad fat. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Jacques can be uh, a little sassy. Just how he gets sometimes, you know. Who are you calling sassy? I'm not a sassy one. I don't forget to feed you. Jesus. Jacques, that was one time. One time, Jacques. I was alone and starving in the frozen tundra of his empty world. Loveless. Afraid. So did they actually put Jacques' voice in this? No, they didn't. I wish they did. I ah, ignore him. He's, I've been bringing him with me to the drama club and he's taken a little too well to it. Oh, I see how this is. Shut me out like I have nothing to add to the conversation. Jacques retook his place on John's shoulder, this time facing away from us as if myth. We resumed our walk towards Poppy Hall. I'm John Tron, by the way. Call me, uh, call me John. <laughs> uh, Hana, nice to meet you. Hana? Eh. Hana? No. That's a cute name. Frank clicked again. I gotta stop doing that. God. What? Thank you. So, how long have you had Jacques? Uh, since middle school. We've been together for, uh, four years now. Ain't that right? TJ, there are only two buttons on your mouse. How I'm you not miss clicking the wrong button? No, I'm not misclicking. It's that I, because I play video games so much, I always have my fingers on both buttons. And I, 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 just get, I just get itchy fingers and accidentally hit the wrong button. Yeah, well... I love him to death, and I, I don't know what I'd do without him. It seemed like life would be a lot easier without him, but who was I to say? We arrived at the brick building, a white sign surrounded by poppies declared to be, unsurprisingly, Poppy Hall. Uh, well, which room are you in? Room 206. Really? Seriously? Yes. I don't know about that. Oh, no. Oh, that, oh that's my homeroom. We're, we're in the same class. <laughs> John laughed and clasped me on the shoulder. Wonderful. I guess, uh, I guess I'll be seeing more of you then. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Together, we entered Poppy Hall. Poppy Man, I wish JonTron was in my class. Dude, I wish I went to high school That'd be the John fucking bomb as shit. That'd be fucking great. Uh, Poppy Hall was lined with fluorescent lights and Asagao blue lockers. The lack of students milling around in the hallway indicated we were a bit late. We ran up the stairs and made it into the classroom just as the bell rang. My heart caught in my throat. Thankfully, the teacher hadn't come yet. Instead, students clumped into tight ponds and milled around the classroom, catching up on vacation news. John! Uh, thank you so much for showing me to class, John. See you later. 
Ah, no, no problem at all. I'll, uh, I'll see you around. He waved and Dude, 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 dude. <laughs> As he walks out of her room. He's not leaving the room! This is his homeroom, too! <laughs> <laughs> he, okay, well, shit, he walked over to his desk. I, I don't know. He, he waved and disappeared into the wriggling mass Not record mass games students. like midnight. This is what happens. <laughs> I glanced around the room looking for an empty seat. Hana! Hana! Mai peeled herself out from between a cuddling couple. Was that Jontron? Were you just yeah. talking to Jontron? Yeah! yeah. Mai's eyes widened and I couldn't help feeling a little smug. <laughs> I realized I didn't know the way to class after you and I got separated, and he offered to walk me. <laughs> Maya emitted a highly pressurized squeal. Jontron walked you to class? Oh my gosh, you have to tell me everything! She grabbed me by the ten wrist and ten pulled me- Ten out of ten experience. Ten out of ten. She <laughs> grabbed me by the wrist and pulled me to an empty desk in the back corner of the room, right next to the window. I saved you a seat! I slid in and took off my backpack, hooking it on the side of my desk. I was a little bit worried the books inside were too heavy for the bag to handle, but so far it held up well. Um... I'm sorry we got separated, by the way. It can get a little chaotic sometimes. So tell me, what happened? What did he say? What did he smell like? Does he have peach fuzz? Is it rough? Ah. Oh, Wait, oh, I don't want to about John's peach fuzz. Ah. Oh. <laughs> These are very important questions I'm asking. You need to answer them. Was his hair super silky, or did it have the roughness of a dog's coat? I has fucking issues. She really does. I just, I don't, I don't even. Like, I get crushes and all that, but these are not, these are not normal facts that uh, people think about. <laughs> Before I could answer, the door to the front of the room slid open and a tall woman strolled in. The class went quiet and obediently slid into their seats. My heart beat furiously, blood rushing through my ears. Class? Here's, uh, here's the teacher, oh, Miss Shizuka. Good morning, class! Oh my god. Oh. Is she like 40 years older than she looks? <laughs> I don't know. Are you really questioning anything no, at this I'm point? Not. Like... The teacher's melodious voice swam. <laughs> She's trying to go for like a higher pitchedness frizzle, that, I guess. I don't just know. That sentence after yeah. the voice you gave her. The teacher's <laughs> melodious, melodious voice, voice swam through the a room. A poisonous snake. <laughs> yes, you're Cedric now. Oh my god. Calming the buzzing hive students back on break. My shoulders relaxed and my fear ebbed away. I am your teacher, Suzuka Wakashita. Mm -hmm. I fucked that name up really <laughs> badly. Did. You may call me Miss Shizuka. The emphasis she placed on the word led me to believe calling her Mrs. wasn't a mistake she would take lightly. Some of you might have noticed that we have a new student this semester. Our new student is a poison a snake. <laughs> Graham, Prince Graham, where are you? <laughs> anyway, uh, I, uh, you're <laughs> you. A hail of murmurs <laughs> passed through the class. Some people glanced at me. Nope, there was the fear again. Mm -hmm. Would you like to come up and introduce yourself? I nodded, stood, and walked toward the f walked to the front of the room, counting my steps to make sure I wouldn't fall. I faced the class, took a deep breath to introduce myself, and noticed a familiar face in the crowd. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> there was John, sitting with two other boys wearing normal boots club jackets. One of the boys, the, the tallest one, was staring at me, the barest of frowns on his face. Something about him seemed really familiar. Wait, he was PBG, wasn't he? The other founder of the Normal Boots Club? Suddenly all the strength left my knees. What should I do? Why, why was he frowning? Was it possible man, that I he, already he's a real, uh, on him? Real sexy man, I gotta say. Dude, he looks suave <laughs> as fuck, too. Huh? He looks suave as fuck, too. Like... <laughs> God damn, just look at that 
face. God, all right, let's uh, let's keep going. You had to be kidding me. If he didn't like me, what did that mean about everyone else? Wouldn't they follow his lead? I swallowed. The faces of the class began to congeal, forming one giant blob. You moved from Amaririsu, right? I nodded and swallowed again. Then, like a beacon of light, I noticed Mai smiling and giving me a thumbs up. That's right. What would Mai do in this situation? Yes, I just moved here. My name is Hana Mizuno. I transferred from Amaririsu Public High School. She, she literally read that entire line. It's the first fully voiced line in this game. Jeez. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yes, I've just moved here. My name is Hana Mizuno. I transferred from Amaririsu <laughs> Public High School. I'm really excited to be here. I hope you'll all take good care of me from now on. Uh, that, that one was too. No, I'm just gonna skip it. Uh, I bowed my head to the class, and they clapped politely. When I looked up, PBG wasn't frowning, but he still seemed oddly confused. I think that's just his default look. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, God damn it. Uh, he always looked like that. <laughs> He's contemplating the ultimate question of apples or grapes. Yes. It can't be and anymore, but uh... Thank you! You may be seated! I returned to my seat, heaving a small sigh. The hardest part of the day was over. Okay, Fluttershy. <laughs> <laughs> Shizuka began to talk about the standard procedure for the semester. The rules for classes, when homework was due, and that sort of thing. It was all very similar to my old school, and I spaced out in spite of myself. A brief flicker of movement caught my eye. PBG again. I glanced at him, and his head snapped back to the blackboard. What was his problem? Class continued on like that until finally the bell rang, and it was time for lunch. Mm. Ugh. <sighs> My stretched her arms over her head and yawned. Oh, I guess that wasn't a growl. Uh, was a yawn. Uh, <sighs> I don't know, anyways. <laughs> Man, I hate... I hate the first day of class. It's always so boring. Weren't you looking forward to it this morning? Something about exciting things happening? <laughs> well, yeah, but it already did. You met John Sean, didn't you? Now I've got nothing left to look forward to. Uh... She sighed. And I was hoping to see Jared before class, too. She slouched and fell She really has a thing for Jared. <laughs> It seemed like this would be happening a lot. Is Jared really that hot? My oh head god. snapped back up. <laughs> She's upset about that comment. Oh my god. What did you say? I, uh... If you stare directly at him for too long, your nose will melt off. I've seen it happen. What? What? I, I think you were high on drugs when that happened. Anyways, I'm headed. Anyways, let's head to lunch. I'm super hungry. Oh. I looked at my backpack. It held a thwall throughout class, but I worried that if I didn't take some of my stuff out now, I might do some permanent damage to it. Especially with Satch's book in there. I couldn't exactly afford a new backpack. I need to put something in my locker first. Oh, no. But if we don't go now, we'll run out of sesame seed buns! Uh... Oh... That's okay, I'll just go on ahead. Come find me, okay? Alright. I just want you guys to know that the way I'm differentiating these two voices is I'm actually tilting my head in a different direction for each voice. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, no, like, I wish I had, uh, had my webcam on. Because, like, when I'm doing Hana, I'm tilting my head to the left, and for Mai, I'm tilting to the right. I don't think it's changing anything, but that's just how I'm differentiating them. Uh, I was lucky to have someone like her as my roommate. Quick as I could, I went to my locker and shoved the book inside. As good a book as it was, I was infinitely happier that I had Mai around, so I didn't have to read it. Without her, who knew what I would do with myself? Especially with PBG staring at me like that. Maybe I could ask her what was up with him when I met her at the cafeteria. 
It might just be the way that he was. I'm cheered, I headed for the cafeteria. The cafeteria? I carried my melon bread throughout through the minefield of people, searching for the now familiar sight of Mai's red hair. Where is she? I couldn't see her anywhere, and there were almost no empty seats. All around me, students circled each other, laughing and joking, sharing bites of food and splitting the cost for sodas. Suddenly, I felt very obvious and very alone. Isn't there anywhere I can sit? Just then, I spotted a table at the front of the room. Oh, it's one of the hidden block guys. A lone voice at it, it stabbing his spaghetti with the vigor of a Roman general. He was having a hard time with it. Fuck, I almost recognize this guy, but I don't know who the fuck it's supposed to be. Uh, I moved closer to him, working up the courage to ask to sit with him. Well, no wonder. He was eating his spaghetti with a spoon. <laughs> okay. Wait a second. This guy was in my class, wasn't he? I saw him that morning at the front of the room. He was wearing a jacket just like the normal boots clubs, but different. A golden gray jacket with an 8-bit block on the front. Was he a member of another club? Or maybe he was friends with them? Hey! Uh, hey, what? Anna! Anna! Oh, my! <clears throat> my appeared between me and the Oh my god, Anna, oh, you just can't ask a man about his jacket! My appeared between me and the boy, who glanced up at us before returning to his spaghetti. Oh, thank goodness I found you. I saved a table for you in the back. Oh. I looked at the boy, then back at Mai. Come on. She grabbed my shoulder rather forcefully and pushed me to the back of the room. Hey, what's wrong? Whoa. You are so lucky I got there. Oh, it's there brutal, Moose. That's brutal, Moose. <laughs> <laughs> You are so lucky I got here and I did. That kid is Brutal Moose. His real name's Ian. He's from the Hidden Block Club. The Hidden Block Club? It, it, brutal Moose is in this game? Apparently, yeah, yeah the, the Hidden Block guys. I don't know... Like, I'm sure I know of all of them, but I couldn't name them. So, when they... I just recognize the names, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, when oh. they show up and get named, I'll probably be like, Oh, that guy! But... Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the rival club of normal boots. He's really weird, I mean... She looked Thank around to make sure no one was listening in, but we were completely alone in our little corner of the cafeteria. He speaks in comic sans. Oh, God. That's oh, horrifying. Wow. How does that work? Yeah, it'd be better to stay away from him, especially since you've already gotten to know some of the normal boots I mean, guys. Drake, to be fair, I speak in wingdings, so... <laughs> you oh know, I wouldn't argue with that. What are you talking I mean, about? I couldn't argue with that at all. I only just met John today. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, right. I saw the way PBG was staring at you. He totally likes you. Really? R really? Is that what you thought that was? Either Mai was blind, or she had a serious case of wishful thinking. Oh, totally! It was so cute, just like my favorite manga. You meet in high school, fall in love, and then go off and fight aliens together. Mai, you've got issues. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Have some faith in yourself. That's totally what's happening. So, now that you're good with PBG, can you introduce me to Jared? Oh, was that what she was getting at? <clears throat> A hot flash of doubt seized me. Was it possible that Mai only liked me because she thought I knew the normal boots guys? That couldn't be the case, though. She was so nice. Still, looking at her shining and eager face, I couldn't talk myself out of the idea. Uh... I actually thought PBG didn't like me. What? 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 <laughs> what? Why would you think that? Well... He was glaring at me. <laughs> Man, you just don't understand. It's a love triangle. A love triangle. Wait a 
triangle now? I can see it. Stars practically erupted from her eyes. PBG, I can't! But Hannah, I love you! It's not but PBG's it's... voice at all, but, no, but it's just go for it. <laughs> Yeah, it's true, and he's made, she did say they were terrible, yeah. so, oh my god. Also, my, my maidenhood. maidenhood. <sighs> Where are you going with this? I slammed my fork onto the table. My looked pleased with herself. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm just kidding. You're really cute when you blush. You almost match your hair. That, that's not fair at all. I beg to differ. Um. Still... I searched my mind, eager to change the subject. That was an impressive scenario. What? L what? No, it wasn't. I, I just made it up on the spot. <laughs> My nervously laughed. Or laughed nervously, if you read correctly. <laughs> oh, so that girl who was talking to me when we got separated? Mai told the story of her past friendship with this girl like they were eternal arch nemeses. Apparently they had some bad blood. I nodded, choosing to take the time to relax. Before I knew it, we were finished eating. We got up and tossed our trays together. As I headed toward the door, though, my hesitated. Um. Hey, I forgot something back at the dorm. Oh, need help? No, no, I'm totally okay. I'm just going to go get it. I'll see you later, though, right? Mm -hmm. See you later. Okay, see you in class. I waved, and my sprinted off in the direction of the dorms. Alone again, I crossed my arms and headed back to Poppy Hall. And large groups of seven or eight people were laying out in the sun, playing catch, and eating lunch on the lawn. It looked like fun to have so many friends like that. I smiled. Maybe this new school really would be better than my last. Without students inside of it, Poppy Hall looked a bit like an abandoned hospital. My footsteps echoed as I climbed the stairs to the fourth floor. <sighs> With a sigh, I opened up my locker and pulled out the book Satch gave me. It was a good thing I brought it after all. Uh, uh, we made the right choice. I stepped into the classroom and saw a flash of movement by the window. A boy sat on the windowsill and he jerked up when I came in. He was silhouetted by the afternoon sunshine, so I couldn't quite tell who he was. I right-clicked again! <laughs> He was so blah, blah. Um. um, hello. I'm sorry, did I bother you? The boy stood up and shook his head, then crossed to a desk on the opposite side of the room. As he passed, I was able to see him clearly. Another normal boots jacket? It's so coincidental that I keep running into all of them. It's almost <laughs> like I'm the protagonist in Dating Sim. No, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Why would you ever say such a thing? This guy, he was Shane from the Normal Boots Club. How on earth did this keep <laughs> happening to me? Yep, I just don't know. Shane sat down at his desk, fidgeted with his hands a little, then turned to look at me. You're the new girl. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, boy. I accept mm. Super deep. Sexy. I nodded. My name is Hana. It's nice to meet you. He nodded. Shame. <laughs> That's absolutely <laughs> spot on! They just voiced it right there. He was just like, hmm. That was the entire voice clip. Shane. Just, hmm. You, you are really, fucking really dead really on with I that. Guess it's actually He's not a man of many words. Silence filled the space between us. Panic built up inside me. This was my chance to get in with the normal boots club, and I was blowing it. I walked to my desk and sat down, setting the book on top of it. You, um... Shane looked at me, unsmiling. I think that's called a frown, Hana. <laughs> You're part of the Normal Boots Club? Yes, I am. Why? He spoke as if it were a challenge, almost glaring at me. Uh... Okay, I gotta, I gotta make him sound angry. Oh, I, I just saw your jacket, so I trailed off. The jackets are really cool. Okay. 
Yes. They are. Silence again. He seems skeptical, as if he expected me to crawl out of my skin and reveal myself to be a large amphibious reptile. I had to do something. Who knew when another chance like this would come? real. But Shane didn't seem friendly. In fact, he seemed downright suspicious. Surely he wasn't on to me already. Maybe it was better not to risk it? Try talking to him or give him his face. Huh, huh, wah, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, yeah. Choose. Survey says... You two are the survey. Give him, give him space. Alright. I chewed my lip and opened up my book, finding the page I ended on the night before. Shane's stare still stung, hopped on the side of my face. He wasn't looking away. <laughs> I stared at the page of my book, rereading the same sentence without grasping any of what it said. Finally, a small group of girls entered the classroom and Shane looked away. Well, I think yeah, we might have made the wrong choice, but... I heaved a sigh of relief. Listen, we don't care about Shane. We only care about John and John PBG. and PBG and Jared, I guess, yeah, too, Jared's at this point. Yeah, Jared's pretty fucking hot. I'd be good oh, with Satch him. Satch was pretty... Satch, Satch was pretty suave. Satch is dreamy as fuck. I can, I can appreciate I, that. I would be absolutely down with going down Satch's route, because he's dreamy as hell. God damn this it, conversation is happening now. God damn it, the game brought it upon us. Your, your ovaries are showing. <laughs> God, that's a great. Two, that's a great two one, are Scott. On the fucking ball tonight. Uh, what was up with these normal boots, guys? Oh my God. John was really nice when I spoke with him, but PBG and Shane seemed to hate me. They were, they were anything but normal. Uh, I waited for Mai to come to class, wanting desperately to tell her what happened. But when the bell rang and Miss Shizuka started teaching, Mai still hadn't come. Hey. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, this was probably multiple parts, like I said. Uh, we'll continue this soon, because this game is kind of fantastic. Uh... By the next time we play, I'll have probably played through a bunch of it on my own because I'm secretly a teenage girl inside, and this is true. It's actually not much of a secret. I'm just a teenage girl inside, and uh, he's probably gonna play the Satchroot. Dude, I'm absolutely doing the Satchroot on my. <laughs> Satch is pretty suave, I gotta say. He's great. gotta say. But, uh... Anyways. Yeah, thanks for watching. We've been Hoof Hearted. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, hope you enjoyed. We'll be back pretty soon. Later.